Good morning, everyone. Now, today is the start of our next build series here. Well, actually, we started yesterday, but yesterday was pretty hectic. I didn't really get a chance to film anything, but this is close enough to the start to begin the series. But this is sort of a combo project of a fence and retaining wall and just sort of a whole backyard renovation type thing. So I'll go around and sort of show you what we're starting on here. So this is it. This is the old retaining wall here. We sort of ripped some of the steps out just to get it back far enough. But yeah, it was just railroad ties. It was all leaning down and falling apart. We took the fence down so the skid steer could come in and drill some of the holes. But we got our two end posts set so we can run a string while these actually aren't the end posts there will be another one there that we'll have to determine because i want the last post of the retaining wall to also be a post of the fence so we'll just wait on that and sort of determine where our fence is going to go i think we're going to bring it just slightly inside the power pole move it in just a bit because this guy over here is also building a retaining wall, so it's going to be pretty close. But, yeah, that's basically it. Um, it'll be about two feet high. These are just the shortest posts I could get. So they'll have to be cut a couple feet, obviously. And then, yeah, we're just packing them in with gravel. So those are nice and solid. Just got a couple yards of gravel in the dump trailer. And then there will also be a staircase similar to this, just about half the width, eight feet, which will correspond to a gate in the fence over here. So this is gonna be a really modern looking uh, setup here. Um, it will involve all these black louvers, which I had to spend many hours bending on the brake and a lot of other black accents so follow along it's going to be pretty interesting Now, I should explain a little bit what's going on here. Um, my dad is just filming, and we got the whole retaining wall done. <clears throat> and the structure of this, um, those fence boards you see, they're just a cladding on the front. The main structure of the retaining wall is treated 3 by 12 uh, beams, essentially, which are fastened with um, six or seven inch GRKs into the posts, which is essentially like a lag bolt. They are on the outside of the posts, but with those GRKs, they're never going to go anywhere. Um, so yeah. And then this side of the fence, we got that one. You can sort of see there how that post is, um, Part of the retaining wall as well so that'll give the ends of it some extra strength if it's part of the fence.
Now here we're just kind of working out a method on how we're going to do this. I'm just prepping the fence boards, which means tacking those metal louvers to the bottom of them. And the way we did it is put it on the bottom, just so the overlap would be facing down, so they wouldn't collect water. And yeah. So later on, um, I just had Garrett and Owen start prepping and I was installing, but here we were just kind of figuring out how it was going to go on the first panel. gonna make this a one part video I could have made an entire series out of this like a daily series but to be honest I've just been so burnt out lately especially with YouTube it's like it's a lot of work to uh, put all those videos together and everything like that and the jobs just keep coming and I got to get them done and unfortunately this would have been a really good one to film like a full series on but just couldn't do it but I'll uh start now um, the old retaining wall was like right sort of back here I guess kind of in line with where that bush ends sort of and it was just like an old railway tie thing it was falling over but anyways this is what I uh came up with it's sort of like a more modern design um so yeah, and then the fence, which is a, in a horizontal configuration, it will eventually match the retaining wall. So we've been going really hard on this the last couple weeks. And yeah, like I say, I just have not had the energy to film anything. Um, haven't really done a project like this before, so it was sort of a combination of me not really knowing exactly what I was doing, like in terms of being able to explain it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it'll look the same from both sides. So those will get capped. I'll have to, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm just here by myself. Gave the guys the day off because that pile of dirt still needs to be spread out and the rest of the landscaping done before we can actually do the back section of fence so yeah that's essentially kind of what we got going on here but i will probably get going on making some more of these pieces to put on the front and just get some some other little things done get some metal broke and stuff like that that I don't need a hand with. So now I got all those inner pieces on, so I guess after lunch I will start breaking the black uh, posts. Alright, so moving along I've been neglecting to film again because I've just been busy. But we got the cap on and some of the metal cap on top of that. 
And now we're just working on the back section. So rather than doing actual filming, I think the rest of this will just mainly be time lapse because I'm just too busy trying to run around and do stuff here. We're already sort of way behind schedule. So um, yeah, I'll just set up the time lapse and sort of just let you guys see it all come together. <laughs> So another little update on this fence project. We're back here today. It's about plus 34 degrees Celsius. So we're just kind of taking it easy, doing the easier work. This backside's done. I got these metal pieces broke that I'm gonna put on right away. And yeah, we're just sort of working along here, um, sort of cleaning up. They wanna put some rock in here, so We'll sort of get all our stuff out of here. I got all, or most of the top cap broke. So yeah, we're uh, finishing up here. So a little bit of the finishing touches on the fence here. These are the gates I made and they've got to weigh a couple hundred pounds. It's crazy. It's like a bank vault door, but I'll just have to readjust this post a little bit because it scrapes just a bit. But these things are like you can just feel the mass in them. You wouldn't want to get hit with that if the wind started blowing it. But I just used regular door hinges they should be fine longer screws plenty strong enough and yeah i put this on by myself by the way which with the airbag sham and some other stuff it's not that hard and that is a completed gate um you know it's really more of a door i got these fancy handles for hardware so it uh <laughs> a lot more you know robust than your typical fence gate so yeah it uh matches up with all the lines there pretty close as does that one so yeah this is sort of the whole a look at the whole backyard renovation the pergola and yeah i mean it was a fun project to do a lot of work though um this one back here operates the same way they got they got all this landscaping done in here this is actually like rubber like recycled tires which is really cool then they got patio stones leading to the back <clears throat> I had to put a little bit of a brace on that one just because it tended to sag a little. But the nice thing about this fence is it's the same. It looks the same from both sides. So the neighbors get a good looking product on either side as well. Um, takes a little bit more material to do it that way, but 
looks good at least. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I know it was kind of a half-ass video, but uh, try to get better sort of, you know, now that I got all those big projects out of the way, like this last scene here is several months after uh, the start of that video. So I'm starting to get everything sort of wrapped up and caught up. So hopefully I'll be able to start filming a few more projects now, but I got lots of videos about ready to come out so i'll probably just schedule them every friday or whatever so i'll have some regular content from now on but uh thank you guys for sticking with the channel even though i haven't really posted much uh gained lots of new subscribers even though i haven't been posting so that's awesome and uh welcome to all you new folks who are joining so thank you for watching uh be sure to check out the links in the description and we'll see you next time